Hi, I'm Ashton Batuso, and uh, I'm here today to make my case that San Diego is the saddest city in sports. I'm Marcy Rogo, and I'm here to tell you that Buffalo is the saddest city in the damn country. San Diego doesn't have a World Series. They're one of nine teams in Major League Baseball to not have a World Series uh, and to have contended in one, so they've been twice and lost it both times. Uh, and it's just, the Padres are one of the saddest teams in any sport, in any city, in any country. And I stand by that. You can stand by that, but there's so much sun in San Diego and beautiful people. I totally don't think that qualifies. Buffalo is made of ice. Those people are the worst. And I'm gonna take my gloves off now because I'm ready to, ready to tell you why. They wear pajamas to their games. Do you know that they wear pajamas to their games? <laughs> okay, true, but in San Diego they wear flip-flops and cargo shorts. What a terrible life, geez. You should really hate on that. Pajamas, Buffalo, what are you doing? Buffalo Bills fans, no more pajamas. That ends right now. Buffalo has actually gone 103 seasons without any professional title. Stop that. Um, I can and I will. San Diego has gone 109 seasons without any professional title. 109 seasons, people. Okay, maybe you have seven seasons on me, <laughs> but here's where the Buffaloes excel at winning awards. They always win for the most arrests, DUIs, and other crimes at their stadium in 2012. They actually won the award for four times the number of ambulances called than any other stadium in the country. San Diego fans are so sad that when you start talking to them about who the saddest fan base is, they get pissed if you say it's Buffalo or Cleveland, they want to be sad. So I do think that they're sadder than the Buffalo Bills and the Buffalo Sabres, just the city of Buffalo, which is also a sad city. That like actually leads me right to my next point, which is the Buffalo Sabres. Nobody knows who they are. That's pretty much it, that's my argument. San Diego has zero Super Bowls. The last time they were even in contention for any kind of professional title was 1998, so like, I don't know, a hundred years ago. You know, those are some pretty impressive numbers. I'm just, this is really my next point. <laughs> Can you see this? Yeah, so a Buffalo Bills fan smuggled a dildo into a stadium, unclear how that got through security, and then threw it onto the field during a touchdown. Wow. Yeah, so, uh, Again, it's not even that they want to be sad, they just are. Famous philosophers have said, and I quote, better to have loved and to lost than to never have loved at all, right? Chargers fans disagree, and they should, because several teams have pieced out on the, on the San Diego fan base in general. So we have the Rockets, the Clippers, they pieced, Chargers, Moved up to LA, which is like a, char a San Diego fan's nightmare. They hate LA. I'm gonna quote Muhammad Ali, oh. who said, I'm gonna punch you out. <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Bills fans are the worst, even though everyone leaves San Diego. <laughs> but when it comes to Buffalo, my final thing is this. Unfortunately, I know from personal experience how sad Buffalo Bills fans are because I dated one. Huge mistake. He wore his pajamas pretty much everywhere we went, in public. And he definitely had teeny tiny VPL, but VPL nonetheless. The end. <laughs> Just kidding. No, it's all because of all these stats, obviously. Like, actually in 2012, they had like four times the ambulance request for Benny Stadium. Also, two of their fans died um, just from over drinking. It's really sad. So, because that's sad for those deaths, Buffalo, I think Marcy did a really good job. I think I came in heavy-handed with the stats, but I think um, she cut me at the ankles there with the whole like the dildo thing and the death thing. I was on the debate team in grad school, no big deal. 